This is a Department of Energy funded project. And the project is looking at trying to balance energy consumption or try to reduce energy consumption versus trying to either maintain or increase occupant comfort levels. And so we're looking at trying to balance the two against each other in a system called BLEMS. So the main problem in uh, current uh, buildings uh, that are operated with uh, centrally uh, controlled HVAC systems is buildings are occupied to their one-third of their design occupancy and there's quite a bit of energy waste. Our test bed building is an office building with uh, some classrooms but mostly offices that are occupied by faculty, staff and uh, research uh, students. I have an office on the third floor of Lewis Hall, I've always been someone who found the rooms usually uh, too warm. When the Blems people came by uh, and asked me to respond about how I felt, it was sort of, uh, I was made for that because I was always complaining and would complain about that with little effect. And my nightmare was coming on the weekends when there was no air at all. The building has an uh, advanced energy management system uh, with a bunch of sensors deployed at the, at the building. Uh, in addition to the existing sensing infrastructure, we have uh, installed sensor boxes in each room. 50 BLAMS boxes are installed in the test lab building, and each sensor box consists of uh, Arduino microcontroller with support for Wi-Fi communications. All the components are low cost, high resolution, accurate, and non intrusive Each sensor box holds a number of sensors, including a light sensor, a sound sensor, a motion sensor, a CO2 sensor, a temperature sensor, a relative humidity sensor, a PR sensor, and a door switch sensor. Data is automatically quarried, timestamped, and stored in an SQR database. So we came up with this framework that enables occupants to communicate their preferences and so I kept sending them um, responses about whether it was good or bad and so forth. By getting the preferences and associating them with the, with the environmental variables such as temperature and humidity, we learn occupants' preferences profiles over the time and then we use a complementary controller on top of the existing HVAC system controller to improve the experience of occupants and save energy. We measure the performance of the building in terms of comfort and energy and we observe considerable improvement in user experience and energy savings for about 25%. We have developed algorithms that actually detect occupancy as well as uh, estimate and predict occupancy at the room level and then take that to the zone level and controls the building based on uh, occupancy information. The performance of the 60 machine learning techniques was evaluated in both single occupancy and multi occupancy offices. The demand response occupancy controls was then implemented. The simulation results demonstrated that a total of 20% of the gas and 18% of the electricity could be effectively saved if the occupancy model was integrated with the HVAC control systems compared to the conventional HVAC controls that are currently applied. So the net effect was converting me from someone who was, you know, was constantly, con you know, unhappy. And uh, I don't know what they did. I don't pay any attention and I don't seem to be unhappy about the temperature anymore.